Give thanks. Receive thy blessing. Busted. Adventure time! Teamwork is dreamwork! Fallen leaves, adorn my knights! The wind knows me. Fight! Everyone go salvation! Gotcha! Game's up! Come it's over! Bust it! One more sin upon your soul! Sin will be washed away! Let's play turn a Your atonement has been... Let's light it up! Gotcha! Wind strike! Everybody stand back! The unholy frost! As one with wind and cloud! One more sin upon your soul! Wind strike! The strain! Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Fallen leaves, adorn my knight! Share my knowledge! I see everything! Gotcha! Stay close and you will live. Ready for a rehearsal? What shall we do? Huh! 
Time to go. Well, this ought to be entertaining. Yes. I won't hold you back. Much. Sato Offer. Sweet! Alas! 
The campaign begins. I've been waiting for you for... Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Time to go! Add a... Thank you for comp... Add a...
Time to go. What's your name, buddy? Are you here to buy some medicine? Where are your mom and dad? Are you lost? No, I'm not. Um, my name's Ayu, and... Hey there, Chi-Chi! Hi, Gray! What's going on? Hi, Traveler and Paimon. Ah, uh, you've actually come at the perfect time. This little boy seems to have gotten himself lost. I think he must be new to the city. Probably wandered away from his parents and... No, listen to me! I'm not the one who's lost! It's my dad! Your dad? How does a fully grown man- Well, my dad's always been kind of forgetful. In the past, he was just- So... what about your mom? She went out a few days ago to gather some herbs for my dad, but she still hasn't come back. I remembered that the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs a clinic in Chingsa Village during the Lantern Rite. So, I... when we got to the city gate, I took a moment to ask the mill with guards for directions to the pharmacy. And then, when I turned back around, my... D I asked the mill with guys to go find him, but he said they won't be able to send that many people. So then I figured, maybe I can ask some other people in the city to help. You came to the right place. We're pros at finding people. Isn't that right, Travel? Changshan can help. She ha... Hey, who's talking about me behind my back? Changshan, Chi Chi meant that as a compliment. There's no need to... Hello, child. You mentioned that you were looking for the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy. How might we be of service? You have a talking snake? Oh, are you Uncle Baiju? <laughs> Uncle Baiju? Shengsheng, now's not the time. My dear boy, could you tell me more about your father's condition? As much- Yes, Uncle- uh, Dr. Baiju. I see. And your family lives near Chingsa Village, you say? I visit patients there frequently, but I don't recall ever seeing you or your pa- Uh-huh. My mom doesn't like meeting other people, especially during Lantern Rite. She always tells me to- Hmm. Is that so? Are you? By any chance, is your mother's name Jiang? Whoa! Yeah, it is! I certainly do. Gui, Chi Chi. Are there any pressing matters in the pharmacy at the moment? Ayu's parents are old acquaintances of mine, so I would very much like to assist with the search. Don't forget us two! We already told Ayu that we'd help! Oh, really? Well, that's one... They searched to the north, but couldn't find anyone who matched the description. <sighs> well, that complicates things. Excuse me, sirs. Have you found out anything about my- Ah, hey there, buddy. Dr. Baiju. What brings you out this way? The boy asked for our help. Oh, thank goodness. We were just as- As for updates... I'm sorry to say- The guards at the crossing up ahead said they hadn't seen anyone either. So we don't believe he was heading towards the Lu Hua Pool. The terrain there can Sorry we weren't able to find your dad, buddy.
That's okay. Thank you for trying. Persona non grata at Boo Boo Pharmacy. You're being un- Okay, deal. We're not gonna solve anything by keeping Jolly on. I'm happy to do it your way, but... Only for my great uncle's- You must be pleased you brought the Traveler along. Otherwise- Well, time is of the essence. Let's get ourselves back to Boo Boo Pharmacy at once. Blockages within the cardiovascular system, reduced blood flow and energy circulation? I see. I suppose- Dr. Baiju, how bad is it? Don't you worry. Baiju's a really great doctor. He's sure to find a way. Ayu, do you know when your father first started displaying these symptoms? Um, I'm not sure. He's been like this for as long as I can remember. Hmm, so it's been a long time indeed. No, I have a treatment plan in mind. We can start tonight. Come and see me again tomorrow morning. I promise that by then, Ayu will find his father- Thank you, Dr. Baiju. Thank you so much. If you still have any misgivings, Director Hu, please feel free to hang around for as long as you wish. However... It would be best if you step outside this room. A doctor must be able- Yes, of course, absolutely. I'll just go and look at the flowers or something. But I will be back in an instant at the- See you tomorrow, Baiju and Chung Chung. <sighs> Bye for now, every- Are you ready, Bai? well, huh? You know, Paimon's- Yeah, you must be curious too, right? Well, I 
I'm idling time on admiring the scenery, the spectacled snake-bedecked docks do- Hello, you busy bees, and what do you have to discuss with the funeral director today? Actually, don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, from the looks on your faces. Guy remain huh? I thought I told you once before. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first founded to fight back against the vengeful wrath of gods defeated in war. <laughs> well, it is a dusty old tale by this point. Long story short, in the ancient world, dead gods were acting up, so our ancestors started pe These days, we don't deal with the wrath of the gods anymore, but all the relevant know-how is still passed down to each generation. So, okay, Paimon gets it now. Wait, so how did Baiju learn to spot that? Almost certainly from his master, who was also my great-uncle. Baiju's master was my grandpa's younger brother, a former deputy director of... Wow, fancy that! Huh. Uh, so... According to my grandpa, he and my great-uncle once went traveling together when they were young. They end that pharmacist must have cast some sort of spell on my great uncle. Because after that encounter, my grandpa had a huge argument with him. But he couldn't. So my grandpa inherited the funeral parlor, while my great uncle stayed in Chenyu Vale to practice medicine. They never. Funeral director to doctor is a pretty big career change. Kinda hard to imagine. But why did it? If he had just become a regular doctor, there would have been no issue. After all, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor wasn't unlike a reg- But according to my grandpa, the pharmacist they met had a very ominous aura about- And on top of that, the kind of medicine practiced in the Chen Yu Vale tradition- In what way? Don't know. My grandpa didn't know the specifics. And you've seen how wary Baiju is around me, but- even that says to me that he definitely has something to hide. One thing I do know about Baiju is that he's obsessed with the idea of immortality. But whether that has anything to do with what he's hiding is hard. Anyway, so I will be sticking around here for now to keep a close eye on the situation. <sighs> After all that, it seems like we have more questions than answers. It's a new day! Let's go back to Boo Boo Pharmacy and check out how Jialian is doing. Dad! Uh, huh? Oh. Dad, you remember me! Yes, I remember now. Oh, you, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, Dad. I got the Adventurer's Guild to help us look for her. And Dr. Baiju's gonna help too. Right now, all you need- Great. That's wonderful. I can't thank you enough, Dr. Baiju. My pleasure, really. It's the least I can do to honor my late master's dying wish. If anything... I should be apologizing to you for not... <laughs> not at all, Dr. Baiju. It's only because Jiang Li... Uh... You're still in the early stages of recovery, so you'll need to take it easy for a while. Take it slowly and try not to overexert your... I suggest you stay at Boo Boo Pharmacy and rest for at least the... Director Hu, do you have any further reservations about Jiang... Mm, it seems like the evil presence is gone after all. You really did manage to suppress it, huh? But... How did you accomplish this in a single night? 
That would be a trade secret, I'm afraid. If that gives you any cause for concern, you may continue to monitor. Though, I regret to say that Boo Boo Pharmacy cannot offer to reimburse Wong Sheng Funeral Parlor for any revenue lost in the meantime. Oh, come on, Baiju! I'm not that unreasonable! Ah. Nyah. I've been stuck indoors for too long! Baiju! Ah, yes, of course. Everyone, please excuse Changsheng and myself for a moment. now, are we? Did you seriously expect to cover it up just by putting on a brave face and ignoring it? <sighs> but in any case, why must you keep this a secret from everybody? You should- Who's there? putting on a bright face. His traveler, Paimon. The truth is, Baiju didn't instead. He transferred some of his own life force to his patient to temporarily subdue the poison in his system. <sighs> Baiju, can you please explain all of this? My predecessors in medicine forged a contract with Changsheng. Every successor to this contract is able to... I believe the irregularities with Jia Liang's heart meridian were likely caused by a poison concocted using God Remains as a key in... The poison has not been purged from Jia Liang's system. Rather, I infused him with some of my own life force using Changsh... Changsheng? You can do that? Huh. I don't always thought you were just... Hey! Have you know that I commanded the respect of even the Adepti back in Chen Yu Vale? If anything, he is m I was treating patients with Baiju's master's master long before he- Whoa. Guess you shouldn't judge a snake by its skin. Please, that's enough. <coughs> Wait a sec. Huto was saying that the branch of medicine you studied uses some pretty dubious methods. So... Hardly. <laughs> Changsheng helps to keep my chi in balance, so there is no... Still, Baiju's life force is not unlimited. We must travel her. Paimon, would you lend this dummy a hand? <sighs> Baiju, don't you think you should seize this opportunity? You cannot ex... Thank you, Traveler and Paimon. Paimon doesn't think we've seen this side of you, but there's no need to- The poison in Jia Liang's system must have accumulated over a prolonged period. I think I should pay a visit to their family home. Yes. I asked Ayu this morning before you arrived. He told me that his fa Let's head there together once I've asked Gui and Chi- As well as investigating Jia Liang's exposure to the poison, we should also keep an eye out- Time to go.
Whoa! There's a house all the way out here? Huh. It's so well- Nor have I. And I've hosted clinics at Chingsa Village many times in the past, if you ask me. Oh, that reminds Paimon. We meant to ask earlier, but it slipped our minds in the rush to get here. Could you tell us- She was indeed. We studied medicine together under the same master near Chen Yu Vale. She is several years older than I and also began her travels far earlier than me. As a result, the time I spent studying alongside her was rather short. Supposedly, she met an herb gatherer sometime during her travels and decided to settle down. Wait, Changsheng, are you saying neither of you had actually met Jia Liang? Jiang Li did occasionally come back to Chen Yu Vale to see our master. But for whatever reason, she hardly ever talked about her family. The last time she visited us, she and Master had some sort of quarrel. We never heard from her after that. It almost seemed as if she'd gone into hiding. Quarrel? What happened? I don't know. I did not witness the argument myself. Nor did Master ever explain it to me. All he would say is that should I ever encounter Jiang Li or... Oh, so that's why you went to such extreme lengths to help Jiang... No. Even if my master had never said anything, it would still be my duty as a doctor to help... <sighs> Paimon never knew you were so selfless, Baiju. Paimon always had... <laughs> so a few words from me is enough to dispel all your suspicions, hmm? You ought not be quite so... What the... Okay, that was the most suspicious sounding thing you've ever said. <laughs> Let's leave the idle chatter there for now. Hmm? Jiang Li has lived in this house for many years. There must be something here that can shed... A... Let's split up. But if anyone finds anything... Chung Shung and I found a hidden compartment. This is what was hid. Ah, you sense it too? You're right. This is a. Uh, is it. breathing? Paimon's not seeing. No. Your eyes do not deceive you. I do believe the poison in this bottle is. Some toxins act a lot like living organisms. I read about this once in The Origins and Symptoms of Diseases. This ancient class of poisons consists of mother. If it's a concoction of this kind we're dealing with, then both the poison in Jia Liang's system and this one here are likely minor loads. Off. Offshoots? So the main body is somewhere. Correct. Whoever is administering the poison can manipulate the source to indirectly control the poisoned individual's behavior and even cognition. The call of the. Wait. So, back when Jia Liang ran off, maybe that explains where he was Only one thing could have been drawing him there. The source of the god remains used as the poison's key ingredient. The mother- Ugh, this is getting crazier and crazier. What kind of person would do all this just to poison Jia Liang? <clears throat> hey, why has everyone gone quiet all of a sudden? Since this poison was carefully hidden away in a secret compartment, though... You mean... Jia Liang? Why would he poison him? Think a little harder, Paimon. Someone else who lives here. And... Huh? So you're saying... <gasps> it was Jiang Li? Wait, but... That doesn't make any sense either! Why would she poison her own husband? 
I agree. It makes little sense. Jiang Li does not strike me as the kind of person who would do such a thing. Look at the facts, though. How many people in the entirety of Li Yue have the ability to concoct a point? Hmm. It's too early to draw any conclusions. We should question Jia Liang about it once he has made more prog. Yes. According to the origins and symptoms of diseases, the mo so if we can find and destroy the source of these god remains, the poison will leave Jia Liang's system. Do you know anything about god remains in Qingsa Village? <sighs> Even the history books have no record of this. The only ones who'll know anything are those old folk. Hmm. Didn't you used to be on good terms with the Adepti, though? You sure they didn't tell you anything about this? Well, uh... <clears throat> Chengsheng's memories and powers are not what they were in her prime. These days, she has to enter a contract with a mortal and share their life force just to sustain her own life. I fear that such ancient ev- Whoa, what? Enter a contract? Share life force? So- Hey! Plenty of people would jump at the chance to join forces with a powerful being like me! With my assistance in rebalancing your chi, not only can you extend your lifespan, but you will also be stronger, healthier, and able to eat stronger and healthier? Wow, that's amazing! Uh, Baiju, maybe when you retire, you can let Paimon sign a contract with Chengsheng for a few days. Unfortunately, Changsheng's contract has strict requirements regarding the host's temperament. None of her hosts have ever been exempted from these rules. I fear that I will be un- Temperament? Uh, hey! What are you trying to say? Did you- Ugh! Paimon's mad! You're getting ugly nicknames, both of you! Baiju, you're- this is exactly why your natural temperament makes you woefully unsuited to being my host. All right, everybody, calm down. Back to the matter at hand. Is there any way at all? Huh. With how antisocial they are? If it were up to them, they'd go... What? <laughs> Seems you're as well connected as they say, Traveler. Oh, if you're talking about who Paimon thinks you're talking better do the honor. You called? Ah! Ugh, gets Paimon every time. Ugh. Are all Adepti in the habit of materializing out of thin air like this? Well, this is unexpected. Huh? It's you! Baiju of Boo Boo Pharmacy. I do believe I've had the pleasure before. The Lantern Rite, when we met briefly, I was unaware of your true identity. I... must apologize. Huh? You two already know each other? Our paths have crossed once before. I sense the presence of evil spirits. Is this why you called... Someone has been concocting demon- Too often, fervent desires drive mortals to abandon all regard for their own safety. It is lamentable. I now know what you seek. It is true that a god's remains are buried beneath the foundations of Chingsa village. A vile monster known as the Chu once wrought havoc over this land. Before it was subdued by Rex Lapis. The land was finally cleansed of poison when Rex Lapis used statues in his likeness to seal the serpent's remains. Ch the seal is still mostly intact. If the Ch is the source, however, its aura is faint and barely detectable. You will need to investigate further to ident- I do not like to intervene against mortals unless absolutely necessary. But when demonic forces are involved, things can spiral out of control. If that happens, be sure to call my name again. Hmm. Hmm? 
Nothing. I do not wish to sway decisions that are mortals to make, but... Immortality may not be the blessing that you imagine it to be. I shall treasure your words of instruction, Master Adeptus. Farewell. What a strange Adeptus. Rather different from the way I remember them. That's true for ya! And thanks to him, we finally got some concrete info to go off of! If the god remains are leaking from underground, Jiang Li must be paying a visit to a subterranean cave on her herb gathering trips. Catch your breath and tell me everything. It's it's Jiaoyang. He was, he was fine one minute, and then he... Already? Based on past experience, he should have been fine for the next three days at least. It seems that my worst fears have been conf... Everyone, back to Boo Boo Pharmacy now! Wind Strider! What's wrong? De Don't be scared. Dr. Baishu will be back soon. How is he doing? Dr. Baishu, you're back! My dad was doing fine earlier, but then he suddenly started coughing up blood. Now he can't even get a full word out anymore. When Gui left, he was still conscious. But... Kui, please take Jia Liang to the back room and prepare for treatment. Yes, of course. Don't worry, Ayu. I will cure your father. Baishu's not gonna use Changsheng's secret art again, is he? How are you feeling, Dad? Are you still hurting anywhere? You ah, much better, are you? I'm feeling much better. In fact, I can't explain it, but somehow... Hmm... Wait, where's Dr. Baiju? I still haven't had a chance to thank him. Seems he moved me here before I came... Master said he needed to take a quick rest and asked me to bring you out of the treatment room. He hasn't emerged yet, so he must still be resting. Oh, really? Well, he must be tired from tre... <sighs> I don't know how I can begin to repay him for saving my life. I'll have to discuss it pro- Hmm... Speaking of which, uh, has the- No, the Adventurer's Guild hasn't gotten back to me yet. I'll go check with them again in a bit- I'll come with- <sighs> Don't forget what Master said. You're still not out of the woods yet, Jia Liang. I str- <sighs> I suppose you're right. I'll have to rely on you this time. Though, on the bright side, 
This means I can thank Dr. Baiju in person once he's finished resting. Traveler, Baiju hasn't shown his face ever since he went in to treat Tiaoliang. Huh? Hey, wait up! finally awake? <sighs> that was far too risky. There was no time. I had no other choice. In any case, it was not completely without... Jiang Li's design is quite brilliant. She makes numerous innovations that I can learn from. So, how much longer do you think Baishu's gonna nap? They've been outside waiting for you the whole time while you were asleep. <sighs> All right. There's no way he could have just... Who's talking behind our backs again? Ah! Baiju! Changsheng! <sighs> of course. There's no need to be concerned. I merely had to transfer a rather lo- Jialyang seemed fine yesterday. Why did he need more life-saving treatment again so soon? I... made an error in my initial diagnosis. And as a result, his life force depleted at a greater rate than I had in- What? You mean, even if you got all the poison out of him? Yes. But more pertinently, the poison in Jia Liang's system is there precisely be- Jia Liang has a rare congenital heart condition and ongoing treatment is essential to maintaining healthy functioning of his heart meridian. Left un- Though it was created from God remains, this formula is not a poison in Jialia. Had he not taken it all these years, he likely would have died a long time ago. Still, using poison to treat a disease is hardly a viable long-term solution. As time passed, moreover, the longer he relied upon this medicine, the more resistant his body became to it. That explains why Ayu said his dad has been giving worse, and why his mom went off to gather herbs. God remains are extremely dangerous to be around, because humans have no natural defense against them. I fear that the situation is just as that adeptus described. In an effort to save Jia Liang's life... I never suspected that even Zhang Li would turn to the same path as so many others over the... To sacrifice one's own life to save others. To go beyond human means in order to do the impossible. Well, I think that it's too early to say with any certainty what fate has in mind. In any case, I have stabilized Jia Liang's condition for now. So our immediate priority should be to get ourselves back to... Her regular exposure to God remains over such a long period will have been catastrophic for her. And given that she's already been missing for several days, I am fearing the worst. It's me, Traveler, Dr. Baiju. Baiju, please let me come with you. You've already done so much for my family. I can no longer just sit here and watch while you put yourself at risk for Jiang Li's sake. After all, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have had to put herself in harm's way in the first place. I know I won't, I'm sure I'll be able to remember. I know there's a spot where she says goodbye to me every time she goes to gather her herbs. I'm sure. Be careful. 
careful. If you get too agitated, your blood pressure and stress levels will rise, putting... No! We're out of time! We have to go now before I forget everything again. Hmm. This trip will be extremely dangerous, and there is a very real possibility that you will... <laughs> I never expected to live this long in the first place. My... There's only one thing I fear now, and that... Very well. Dr. Baiju? Are you heading out? Yes. This could be a long one. Could you please prepare a dose of the usual formula? Please add an extra measure of mist grass pollen and one dose each of the ingredients from the third and fifth compartments of my medicine cap. Uh, Dr. Baishu? Pop to it now. And remember to be careful with the cauldron this time. You don't want to burn yourself again. Okay. Follow the wind. The day I went missing. It's the mother load's influence is growing stronger. But is it because we're getting closer to the source? Or Jia Liang, can you sense which direction this I think it's this way. Yes, I'm sure of it. a dull ache in my heart. <sighs> this must be the way. This place feels familiar. I think I've been here before. Is an inauspic- I think I remember this place. <sighs> Jia Liang, are you okay? Uh, maybe you should rest here while we continue- No, I have to keep going. What shall we do? Uh, this the digging marks here appear amateur. And a thieves' tunnel? Hmm. Paimon has heard rumors about treasure around these parts. Judging by the tools they left behind, it's certain... But why did they abandon this place without even stopping to pack up... Ah, I remember now. She took... But she... Huh, she said that the method would cause me... Easy, Jia Liang. Yeah! Yeah! 
A better pelt to swap. Here. Those treasure hoarders sure made themselves at home. I believe this sensor was used to burn a monster repelling in a monster repelling incense? Uh, you... The incense was burned several days ago. If I had to guess, the monsters we fought just now were enticed here by some entity. No doubt an encounter with the very same entity was what prompted the tra- After them, Jiang Li was the next person to discover this place, and what lies in- That's right. This sensor. It belongs to Jiang Li. This is where I told Jiang Li to give me the- Jiang Liang! I'm fine. Let's keep going. I can feel it. She- Getting close. We're almost there. It's right up ahead. The place where we made a pact together to... of it. The energy released by this mechanism can not only clear barriers, but also be conducted by corresponding mechanisms. Perhaps it's something we can make use of. Solidify! Shine down! Order guide you! Taking the turn for the better. The doctor will see you now. There is no escape!
Remains must have lured them here. Watch my back. Not the swamp. Mind the side effects. Everybody stand back! Torn to oblivion! Baiju! How serious is it? Is she... I can still feel a pulse, but her condition is quite grave. The god remains here are encroaching on her cognition. Much as the poison in your system... If we don't eliminate it soon, then even if we save her life, I fear that she may never wake up again. Then... what are we waiting for? Let's destroy the remains, right? It's not as simple as that. Don't you remember? The poison within Jialyang's body is inextricably linked to the god remains. If the source is purged, the poison in his system will stop having any- uh, And the poison within Jialyang's body is keeping his heart condition- Oh no. Are you saying- Indeed. If the god remains here are purged, then your life will- <sighs> I wondered when this day might come. Wait, wait, wait! But- We've all been working our butts off to save Jia Liang's life! After all that, Baiju, you're a great doctor! Surely you gotta know of some other way we can save- You could continue to take the poison, which would buy you some time. As for Jiang Li, maybe if we- It appears to me that she was striving to concoct your medicine for you, right up until the moment when she lost consciousness. Maybe it's her great- Dr. Baiju, give it to me straight. How long does Jiang Li- The god remains have reached her internal organs. Under ordinary circumstances, I would give her less than three days. But- But, but what would be the point of that? Dr. Baiju, I'm all too aware of the dangers of god remains. You are not the first to mention it to me. If I continue to sustain my own life using this wretched substance, not only would Jiang Li have to keep risking her life to make my medicine for me, oh, but I would have to live with the looming threat of these remains Break. I know for a fact that I should have died over a decade ago. The fact that I've been around to see how you grow up is already a great blessing from Rex Lapis. If my choice can bring Jiang Li back, then... Even if I, uh, 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 even if... Jia Liang? <laughs> After cheating death for so long, it seems I've grown somewhat addicted to life. <sighs> Traveler, Dr. Baiju, could I have another minute with my wife? Of course. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry that I won't be able to repay your kindness in this life. <laughs> Jia Liang? Baiju Changsheng? Is it really not- I am sure that over the years, Jiang Li will have tried all the conventional methods known to humankind. As for less conventional- Mortals are fated to grow old and pass on when their natural lifespan runs out. If it were so easy to combat the natural pra- What a crazy situation! Jiang Li risked it all to save Jia Liang's life! And now, Jia Liang has to sacrifice himself to save Jiang Li! I've seen many final farewells and- In the human realm, all things must come to an end, at least. And that's what generations of masters before you have- The path they chose was indeed a heroic one. 
But when I think of those who would willingly, I cannot help but think that theirs are the lives least deserving of death. When all this began, we agreed that once I was old enough to help you gather herbs, it would be... <laughs> if you could only see him now. He took me all the way to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor. <laughs> so I know that you'll both be okay without me. I've said my goodbyes. My time has come. Do what you must. As you wish. It will eat away at both your cognition and your memories. In the end, you'll become little more than a shadow. I'll take it. At the very least, it will... Mom, something's really wrong with Dad. Don't fret, Ayu. I will gather some medicinal herbs. Why would these memories come to mind now? The longer we live... The tighter we cling. Oh, how I would love to hear, to hear your voice one. Jialiang! 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 Dad! Are you awake? Uh... Jiang Li... Didn't I... Huh? What are... these? How does it feel to come back to life? Do you feel strange or different in any way? If so, could you describe it to me in detail? Dr. Baishu, I... I thought that I was going to... <laughs> Die? You did indeed. As things stand now, you're more akin to a zombie than a human. I'm a zombie? That's right. Before we set off, I asked Chi-Chi to prepare an elixir of immortality. With its help, you have been suspended in the space between life and death. Of course, this is but a crude imitation of an adeptus art. I don't expect it to extend your life indefinitely. Whether it will keep you alive for a few days, a few months, or a few years, I am as interested as you to find out. But, however long you have left, I believe it should be more than sufficient time for you to say your final goodbyes before departing the world in peace. I hope that Director Hu finds this arrangement to be a sad- An elixir of immortality? How'd you cook that up? Ugh. Leave it to you to work on something like that behind my back. It's a work in progress that hardly lives up to its name, and it would have had no effect were it not for Jia Liang's iron will. In the end, I am merely a doctor. I understand very little of the great principles governing life and death and the perpetual cycle of yin and yang. All I know is that if I'm presented with a life that deserves to be saved, I will do... And even this would have counted... ...before we... Oops. And I'm busted. Without Director Hu nudging things in the right direction, we may not have found Jiang Li in time. 
No wonder he didn't mention the elixir back then. I thought he was being frank and transparent with me for once. <clears throat> Director Hu told me to keep her suggestion a secret, but it seems nothing escapes Dr. Baiju's attention. <laughs> Never underestimate a serpent's sense of smell. All I wanted was to help Jia Liang find his missing wife as soon as possible, so that he could be on his way to the afterlife without any unfulfilled wishes making the journey more difficult than it needs to be. Leave it to Boo Boo Pharmacy to snatch the perfect opportunity right out of my hands at the last hurdle. Never mind. I'll just have to put it down. One Chi Chi was enough of a conundrum. The last thing I need is another one. If I'd known this was coming, I'd have whisked him off to the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor the moment I found him. You stay away from my dad! When I grow up, I'm going to become an even better doctor than Mom and Baiju, and cure Dad for good! <sighs> oh, is that right? Well, you wouldn't be the first person who's tried to put Wangsheng Funeral Parlor out of business, if you're serious about it. Traveler, Paimon, I'll catch you all another time. Oh, is she finally gone? All's well that ends well. If you ask Paimon, we should probably do something. <laughs> At times like this, a grand celebration. <laughs> It feels like it was a whole lifetime ago when I last talked with Zhang Li and Ayu around the dinner table. Yay! Paimon can't wait! Alright, first things first, off to the market for some fresh. Wait up! I'll come too! Baiju, thank you so, so. Don't mention it, Jiang Li. I was just doing my duty. Just your duty, huh? <sighs> Baiju, Changsheng. Would you mind if we took this conversation out? Time flies. It's been so long since we bade each other farewell in Chen Yu Vale. Changsheng, you're the same as ever. You haven't changed one bit. You, on the other hand, have changed a lot. You're right. My younger self would have never imagined that things would one day turn out this way. Or that you'd turn out this way, Baiju. I've taken a look at your elixir of immortality. It's not altogether dissimilar from the poison I concocted in terms of the way it functions. I have to say, Jiangli, it was a stroke of genius to use poison to maintain life. I hope you're not too upset at me for copying your methods. No, not at all. With your intellect, even if you'd never seen my poison, I believe you would have eventually arrived at the same appro- But I'm still impressed by how quickly you managed to gain such a thorough understanding of it. Jia Liang's still only been in your care- Not just that. You even managed to improve upon the original formula. That cannot be explained by- Baiju, be honest with me. Did you try out some of the poison on yourself? Huh. Told you the truth would surface sooner or later. Life force isn't the only thing that Changsheng's contract lets you transfer between bodies, is it? Nothing gets past you, Jiangli. You are correct. 
Besides life force, Cheng Sheng's secret art also allows for the transfer of toxins and diseases. When I treated Jia Liang for the second time, I transferred some of the poison from his body into my own. Not only did this allow me to alleviate the burden, there is no need to worry about any long-term consequences to my health, however. Now that the source has been destroyed, any remain- But you took such a huge risk. If we hadn't destroyed the god's remains back there, then even you might- <sighs> What am I saying? I'm a no- The reason I left our master and went into hiding all those years ago was that he was getting old. And I didn't want him using up any more of his own- But in the end, how were my methods any different? I risked one life to save another. And then you tried the poison on yourself too. <sighs> it looks like- Are all disciples of Chen Yu Vale destined to turn out this way? To live a short life, haven't given away our own for the sake of others? To fight relentlessly against the natural- We are doctors, Jiang Li. We ought never say that anyone's fate is sealed. Baiju, I can tell that, over the years, you've used the contract with Changsheng to transfer many diseases and toxins to yourself. Can you still stop before it's too late? I think you know the answer, Jiang Li. Every one of us from Chen Yu Vale believes in the- Hey! Food's ready! Mom! Come and join us! The Traveler taught me a load of new recipes, and said even Dad'll be able to taste them. Come and try them out! Yes, darling. Mom'll be there in just a second. Hey, slow down! Daiju, I know I won't be able to convince you, but please don't forget that if one day, Chi-Chi, Gui, and all the friends who have grown fond of you they will all miss you dearly. There's no need to worry, Jiang Li. I know what I'm doing. <sighs> I can only hope so. Hmm. Bai Yu, what did Jiang Li mean by not around anymore? Are you gonna be okay? Every single mortal I've ever contracted with including Baiju and Zheng Li's ma- Wait! That doesn't make any sense! You said that the contract with you helps people live longer! <sighs> it is a very long story. Long ago, when plagues ravaged the land, one doctor made a pledge to rid the world of pain and suffering. But even the most ingenious mortal medicine could not stay the tide of disease. And after working tirelessly for many years, even his dearest loved ones fell sick and bade their final farewell. Legends told of an herb lord in Chen Yu Vale who could cure any illness known to mankind. The doctor sought the herb lord but found only a white snake, its breathing weak and its power all but spent. Sign this contract and let our lives be joined. Then I will impart to you the secret art of healing. But be warned, this art will harm your own health. With means beyond human ken, the doctor could now reverse the process of death. And yet, the time still came to say goodbye. Only now, the one departing was the doctor, his life force spent. His final act in life was to pass on the contract to his final patient, his favorite disciple. The disciple chose to dedicate their life to saving the lives of others. And generation upon generation followed in these footsteps. <coughs> Since I inherited this contract, I've always respected the path taken by my predecessors. 
and followed it myself unquestioningly. That is, until I tried to use the art to save my own disciples, beloved. She begged me not to use up my own life force. She said that this art is a poison chalice, an evil and unnatural practice. She did not wish to sacrifice one life for the sake of another, when both were lives she treasured. Only then did it occur to me. Did I not suffer when my master passed away, just as patients' families do at their loved one's deathbed? Are not the lives cut short by this contract just as worthy of saving as any patients? What is this contract to us? Medicine or poison? Alas, I no longer have enough time left to find the answer. I entrust to your care both Changsheng and this final question. May you find a remedy for this conundrum which has ailed us so. Time and again, no matter how much I try to warn them or balance their chi, I can never save them. And you? What's your answer? If I abandoned the contract and left you without a host, what would happen? Hmm, I suppose I'd spend my final moments taking a nice nap on Mount Yaojin. Then I'd be reunited with my old friends and your predecessors. Then it's decided. If there's a life in front of me that deserves to be saved, why shouldn't I do everything within my power to save it? <sighs> Once again, it's the same answer. So be it. Close your eyes. Who knows how many more people will take on this contract? None. This contract will end with me. My contract has strict requirements on the host's natural temperament. All my hosts have been most pure of heart. But when one with an altruistic nature gains access to this art, they are more seduced than the average person by the miracle of overturning the law. Though they know better than anyone else the fate that awaits them, when faced with the sorrows of humanity and the pain of losing their nearest, they are like moths that throw themselves into the flame, seeking a glimmer of hope in a dark world filled. So, by you... Does that mean... <laughs> I suppose that would make me a moth that yearns for the light, but doesn't want to be burned to a crisp. Chengsheng's art can transfer pain and suffering between people, but it cannot reduce the total amount of pain in the world. It's just like we witnessed. I have nothing but the utmost respect for my predecessors, who sacrificed their lives for their principles. Huh? But... Didn't you already transfer a ton of disease? What makes a poison, poison? And what makes a disease, a disease? When it comes down to it, are not both mechanisms... If disease is defined as deviation from normal functioning, then who knows? Perhaps the true elixir of immortality could in fact... Many may view the notion of searching for immortality in poisons and illnesses as a flagrant violation of the natural order. But to me, it is no different from the way our ancestors tested the medicinal qualities of herbs. I don't want those who come after me to lose their lives to this contract. Nor do I wish for Chengsheng to perish from losing her host. This leaves only one solution, precisely. I will be Chengsheng's final host, and the tradition of passing down the contract will end with me. Even the gods of old struggle to achieve true immortality. First you want to save others, then you want to save yourself. Now you even want... Hmm... But isn't wanting to have it all what makes us human? For a selfish moth like me, who's afraid of the flame yet yearns for the light, the only path forward is... Huh. For once? Paimon just does not know what- Dr. Baiju, Traveler, what are you still chatting about? The food's about to get cold. We also have coconut milk 
for Changsheng and Paimon. Um, okay, fine. Let's go grab some food. Paimon has a bunch of burning questions, but they can wait till after we've eaten. <sighs> I do envy Paimon sometimes. Eating her feel is enough to satisfy. <laughs> True. And yet, all th are such things as these not precisely why we mortals cling desperately to the life we have? 